Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big unk, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, like the video, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. All right. We're getting right to it. This is our Utah Jazz weekly update. Yeah. Yeah, man. They had a great week. Yeah, they went 2-1. 2-1. On on so we'll start with the first game. That was uh, Monday, right? The 15th, they played... Philly. Philly. Yeah. At home. No MB. No MB. Yeah. But they, they, they still won the game. Mm, yeah. Clarkson well, dropped 40. Right. And that was impressive. Yeah. And, uh, you know, of course... The people that don't want to believe in Utah, they go, "Well, that's because Embiid didn't play." But what, this is this is these are the type of things that they need to get ready for. I mean, because the type of lineup that Philly played with, mm -hmm. that's the that's the at the end of the week they had to face those kind of lineups. That no, that's of, a valid point. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, most teams didn't have a. a and so this that's bit. why I say it was a very productive week for Utah because at this point of the, of the season and. Uh, Oh, you know them being in first place and all that hoopla. That's that's all great, but what good is it to be in first place and you didn't learn anything all season? Mm. So you know what I mean. So it, by them um, going through the season and and you gotta have the hiccups in the season because if you don't have these hiccups, when you're presented with those type of issues in the playoffs, those, that can't be the first time. You have to been and seen this before. Yeah. And that this was a perfect week that rounds off. Everything that they, not everything, but a lot of big part of what they need to, what they'd be seeing in the playoffs. Yeah. And uh, so they got they they they, they got their first test. No doubt. Yeah, they won by eleven. You know, Ben Simmons had what forty two. Yeah. Um, Joe Ingles, who's been playing very well, man, twenty points. Yeah. Donovan yeah. Mitchell, you know, always doing his thing. Twenty, I think he had twenty four. But Royce O'Neal, mm. eleven and eight. Mm hmm. Listen, those are. I'm just impressed with his defense. Man. Yeah, man, but uh, but that stat line wouldn't mean much to most people. But 11 points. Yeah. When you got all that other, uh, all they won the game by 11 yeah. points. Yeah. So that was a impressive game. I, I like. Yeah. I, 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 I really liked what they experienced, and they they showed some. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, adjustments. Yeah, they yeah, made yeah. Adjustments. Uh, uh, learning how to deal with adversity. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. It's funny that you said that they. This week they um they dealt with a lot of tests like as far as not like they played a game without MB which is something different because most teams would probably go small right M most teams are small yeah you know what I mean and they've been playing without a starter so they've been like facing a lot of adversity lately but they still been winning games mm -hmm. so yeah. I guess that's got to learn to win in different ways that's it that's what you can have a, do, right? you can yeah. have a game plan now your game plan would be to stop. MB, yeah. but now you have to make an adjustment because mm. you without MB playing, you didn't know how they were coming out. So that's coaching. That's you didn't know what the kind of sets they're going to be running because it's a whole different type of set because they've been playing with MB all, all season and now it's a game. He's not there. You you don't and that was the, he was a game time decision I believe. Mm -hmm. So you find out on the day now you got a game plan as the game is going on. So not just mm. the just not the team. Uh, had to make the adjustments, but the coach had to make the adjustments as the game going on and quickly. And I think Snyder did a good job. Yeah, they got the victory, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, that was uh, the fifteenth Monday. Mm -hmm. Then they uh, played the Clippers on Wednesday, so it happened to be the seventeenth. Yeah, they won that game. It was no uh, Paul George or Kawhi. I don't believe they played that game. Right. But they didn't play, no. but they still got the victory though. Yeah, they won by eighteen, right? Eighteen. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. They won by eighteen. Um, the game was pretty much won in the second half. They just pretty much pulled away from well, the that's what that's what they do. Yeah. That's what I love about Utah. They wear you down, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you said that yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> they wear you down and, and yeah. they come at you, they keep coming. And about the third and fourth quarter, you you, you better be ready because they're going to another another level. Mm. And uh in that game, they but you know, the one thing that stood out to me in that game was um Pat Beverly. His defense kind of bothered um, uh, um, Mitch Mitchell, yeah. Mitchell. It, 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 it kind of bothered him um, You saw it But that's what he does hmm. You know And and this is Like I said all Learning lessons He needs to see this now Because it only gets more intensified When you get in the playoffs yeah. You don't want to see that now Like games like that Where let's say Pat Beverly didn't play 
right? And you're not all season long. You're not used to his antics and the yeah, things yeah, that yeah, he yeah. does. And so now you're going into the playoffs, and now you gotta figure it out. Then mm-hmm. no, now you get a chance to get used to it. You know, so that game, I, I felt he struggled because of the defense that Beverly mm-hmm. was. You know, that nagging defense that he plays. I think he it kind of distracted him a bit. Yeah, yeah. It was a different type of defense that he didn't see all season. Yeah. And uh, he, I don't. In that game, if I had to give him out a grade, I would give him a C plus. C plus. All right. Yeah. Well, if I have to give Rudy Gobert a grade, I'll give him maybe an A. He had twenty three and twenty. Yeah. It's a big time performance. So yeah. that's what happens. Like if one player doesn't step up or one star. You have another one there. That's why you're paying the big bucks. Yeah. Step yeah. up and make it happen. Because you got to <laughs> take advantage of mismatches, right? Yeah. It's not their fault that the Clippers don't have bigs. Mm-hmm. No. You got to go do it. Take yeah. advantage the of what's NBA happening. NBA players. Yeah, exactly. And it really doesn't matter. Because that, if, we, if we move on from that game, they had, the, they, they had them in the back-to-back. Yeah, so it was they last night. Them, yeah. So they played them again last night. And now, Paul George and... Um, Kawhi. Kawhi Leonard is there, mm-hmm. so now it's a different, it's a different uh, 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 game plan. Yeah, right. And uh, same thing in the first half. Pat Bev defense on Mitch. Mm. Donovan Mitchell was uh, he was frustrating them. It seemed like, and the, the team they they actually the 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 Clippers the defense that they played was smothering. Yeah. They really didn't. They wasn't getting the sh- those open shots. Yeah, they had them by like 15 points at one point. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. And um, but, but so in the first half, they wasn't really. They they didn't look good. Mm-hmm. And like again, that defense that uh that Pat Bev was playing on um Donovan Mitchell, it was smothering. Yeah. And it seemed like it was bothering him. Yeah. But in the second half, in the second half, he found himself. Yeah. And that's what I mean about. Games like this, so now he 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 understands. Okay, this is how I got to do. This is how yeah. I have to do with him. So he done figured him out. I wish they had to play them in a, 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 another game <laughs> tomorrow, because then I want to yeah. see what he. I want to. I'm excited to see what they learn, because mm-hmm. he, like this is new new for Utah. You know, we they to me they're relatively young. Mm-hmm. Most people say no, they got a vet, vet, they're a veteran team, but to me they're a young team. Because it's not about how old you are. It's it's, a, it's, when people say that, they're comparing it to other teams. You know what I mean? Right. But like, if, like you but say, I don't, I don't go by age. I'm talking about the experience. Mm-hmm. They, they're young because they never been a first place team where now everybody's Bullseye. chasing out yeah, 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 bullseyes yeah. on their back. Yeah. So they're very young mm-hmm. when it comes to that experience wise. Yeah. And they gotta understand like every game you gotta come to play because people coming and the Clippers they want to be they want. They feel they the best in the West. Yeah. So you know they're coming, you know? Mm-hmm. And so what they learn is what, what's more important yeah. than anything. Whether it's W or L, it's going to make a difference. And you know what's unique about this season? Mm-hmm. Like, it almost simulates the playoffs to a degree. Yeah. Like, because the back-to-backs, mm-hmm. it, so it's like being in right. the series so exactly. much. So you're not going to – it's hard to be the team back-to-back when but they see, make the adjustment. And, and yeah. that, But that was the thing. They yeah. couldn't make the adjustment from the first game. Because the starters weren't there. The starters were there, right? The starters wasn't there. So now the second game, you don't know. You know, you know. That's a whole new team now. Yeah. You know, and uh, even even with Kawhi Leonard playing and have and having twenty nine points, that twenty nine points wasn't impressive. Oh, he worked for that. Royce O'Neal. Yeah, he worked His for that. His defense. I'm t- and and he's under. I didn't realize how undersized he is. Yeah. I'm, I always thought he was a big wing. He's not that big compared to the rest of the wings. Mm-hmm. And but he he gets up in the in there and he he fights defensively. Yeah. And he made Kawhi Leonard work for every last one of them 29 points. He took 24 shots to get 29 points. Man. Yeah. So I mean, come on. That yeah. that I mean, he's just that's Kawhi Leonard. Yeah. So and to me, that's a great job because he had to work to get He's pretty much averaging 25, something like 26. Yeah, because he's going to get the points because he, right. he's a star. He has the green light. Right. So he, he's a superstar. He eventually, he'll right. take enough shots, it, he'll get the points, but make him work. Right. And he did that. It's, it wasn't efficient. Yeah, exactly. But he got it, okay? Mm-hmm. But that's not that's not where they lost the game. That Well, that right there was great. The slow start. I think 
rebounding. That as well. Yeah, yeah, because like you said, they they found their stride later on. And yeah. I love the fact that they didn't give up because mm-hmm. Towards the end, it almost looked like the Clippers wanted to give them the game. Like, right, yeah. Cause, well, cause, that's what the Clippers would yeah. do anyway. <laughs> they, were, yeah. they were almost there to take it yeah. away. But my biggest takeaway from that game is I'm not going to start any controversy, but it's a valid question. Mm. I think that Utah should start Ingles and let Conley come off the bench. Yeah, I agree. I think that was the. I think they should do that because Ingles didn't have a flow. I don't think he had eight points. Well, they they, has, they, they 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 shot they they shot bad. They yeah. shot they shot thirty five percent. But I think there's a rhythm thing at this point yeah. now. Now he's, he's used the to last start. six games. He, he was starting, start. and he and he was, he looking, was going off. Right, he was looking great. Yeah. So that's something something that it's about team. So I yeah. mean, I think for, for, in my opinion, and of course I'm not a professional coach, mm. but in my opinion, you you hit the nail right on. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's right. That's point right. I believe that, he, and then even with Conley coming back because um, Conley has 16 points. Yeah, that's great. But one thing he cannot do, and it's not a knock on him because I understand that he just coming back and he got to get back into the rhythm of things. But 16 points is 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 huge, especially if we just said 11 was. But Conley cannot be in a game and come out of the game with zero assists. He yeah. didn't have a, he didn't have any assist that that game. Yeah, you know, and that that yeah. that that's not help. They don't need him to just be a scorer. Yeah. he has to be a facilitator. And it, even with that, like we, we speak of assists, and in, in basketball they don't count the assist that leads to the assist. But Joe Ingles does that a lot, like a hockey assist. Yeah, his IQ he'll set to play up so that the next man to get the ball where he needs to go. Mm. And I that's think, the way they move because they ball they move the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. So, but that that loss is—it's just a lot. They they went two and one this week. Not only that, but offensive rebounding. Mm-hmm. They, they they got out rebounded by the Clippers, and it wasn't because of um, Rudy Gobert had it hard because in that fourth quarter the Clippers went small mm-hmm. with um with Marquise Mar- Marcus, Marcus Morris. Morris at the five. So now they have all five shooters around, and that takes Gobert out of the middle. Yeah, and it makes them they, they constantly in a scramble. And he he's willing to put the effort forth, but everyone has limitations. Yeah, I mean it's, that's I'm, too you can't ask him to. That's yeah, too much. That's man. just too much. <laughs> that's that's, that's too crazy. Much. <laughs> and then and then at the same time, it's like he's programmed to protect that middle. And mm-hmm. if anybody even act like they're going in there, <laughs> he's leaving it and he's going. That's just it's, yeah, that's, that's how he's programmed. Yeah. And and then they're, now they're in a scramble. And he moved. I don't think there's any elite center that moved their feet better than defensively better than Gobert in the league today. No. No. Nobody. Can, he can get As, out on a switch. Yeah. The, yeah, they didn't get back home. But see, yeah. that was the thing. They wasn't. They didn't. They didn't. Like that last, one of those last plays, I felt that they should have just switched, which would keep them from having to mm-hmm. be in that scramble so much. And uh, because since you got everybody off, that since the Clippers had all five play, it wouldn't make a difference. Marcus Morris is not a um, an inside presence to the point to where he's gonna back. You're down, and he's not an inside presence anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't care he what he used to be. Yeah. He's, 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 but he's shooting 50 percent from three point range this season, mm-hmm. and now you got Rudy Gobert guarding him, so he can't leave him out there. That's a valid point. You know? yeah. And that that hurt them, and that's how that last play when they cut it to the two, and 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 um, they came down. Uh, 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 um, Kawhi. Missed the shot, but he was able to get the rebound. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm he with was, you. He was able to get the rebound again, and that's another place where I saw that the Utah Utah had a problem with the Clippers' big, long wings. Mm-hmm. Their wings, and he got that rebound over um, over Royce O'Neal, mm-hmm. and that's what made me realize Royce O'Neal is not as tall that I thought he was. Yeah, you know, and uh, but. All so a lot of lessons, man. Yeah, yeah. All, but that's not something that they can't overcome yeah. because that was about. Now they have to box out harder, mm-hmm. you know, box out harder and team rebound, yeah. you know, and 
Donovan Mitchell, I gave him a C plus and game two of the week. I it? gave him a B in this one because it, uh, it took him a, the, the first half. He I, he, he started he, cooking though. Right, but he started cooking in the second. But I'm <laughs> only but only I gave him a B for that. So you would most people would feel that he needs to he should at least get an A, A minus or something like that, right? Mm. No. The problem is this. When the, when he got two fouls, coach took him out. When he came back in, he was playing tentative. Mm. And it stayed into the full game he played that way, mm. which was tentative on defense. Mm. And he wasn't aggressive on defense yeah. for the whole entire game. And you can't win the game without without the defense that's needed. So right. Utah, the no nope, one loss is no need. You know, twenty two games they played. Mm. And they won twenty. 20. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. And, and so if you're gonna get down, and one on of those one is this week. So right. you got to think about. And think about it. Twenty-two games. You won twenty straight. They won twenty games out of those twenty-two. Mm-hmm. So now, if you went undefeated, they should be worried. Yeah. Because there's no lessons in that. No like, lessons in no that. No adversity. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. And if you think that the, if. It, you know, I can already see it now because there's a that's all article that that asked is the, is the Clippers I mean, is the is is the Jazz really the best team in the West? You know how they. Uh, I mean, they're so quick. <laughs> yeah, they, they they hesitated to to give it to them, yeah. even though their record stated that they had hesitated to give it to them, and now that they still have the record that say they're the mm-hmm. best, but because they took one loss, right? Well, a lot, they don't watch him. <laughs> they gotta be watching him. I don't think so, man. Listen, they you can't some, watch this team and doubt them. Like, they had they had elite they had at least um, elite games this week. Mm-hmm. Last two weeks they had some 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 no. elite teams that they had to play. People watch. They don't want to see this. All right. Well, listen. Either way, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, that, they're not NBA fans. Uh, yeah. you know, period. So that's just as bad as not watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. You, you don't have any authority over here. I mean, they only want to talk about the the regulars. Yeah. That's it. All right. Same stories all and over again. And that's what we love about this because Utah gives us gives giving us a story. Yeah. They're giving us something to 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 look at. Something to research mm-hmm. and something to talk about, and it's good quality basketball. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. All right, man. So, anything else you want to say? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't don't put your head down for one loss. That's it. Yeah, it's one loss. And if they, I actually, um, I I, I don't like the Clippers, right? So mm-hmm. I would rather for them that lost to Philly mm-hmm. than the Clippers. But that the way they lost and the style of play, that that's why I said I wish they was playing again. Mm. If they was playing them again, they're the adjustment. They'd, I want to see the. I want to see it. Yeah. I want to see the adjustment that they make, and then I'll say, okay, we they passed that test. Let's move on. I'm sure they'll see him again right? next. when the second half of the schedule comes. Oh out. yeah, they'll yeah. see him again. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So it. before we go, anything else? That's it. I'm gonna give some shout outs. You know, from the comment section, we're getting a lot of feedback on some of these videos. Mm-hmm. Uh, anybody else you want to shout out before I go? Or? No, that's it. Uh, we got Cody Palmer, Brian Larkins, Eric Boyd. Yeah. Uh, Austy, A Pro Digital Media, Robert Hall, CEO Los, XR Kun, and Jazzy Boy. Shout out to y'all, man. Oh, yeah. Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. Make sure y'all leave comments in the con- comment section. Those individuals I just named were engaging a lot, holding conversations in there, leaving valid points. We appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you know when we upload new content. This is Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. I'm Earl Tima, alongside my co my big onk, Alan Tima. Utah Jazz Weekly Updates every weekend. Y'all stay with us. We appreciate y'all. Team Sports. Peace.